welcome to my channel welcome back hope you're all well today i'm going to be recreating this look it's just like a soft glam kind of vibe i'm bored in lockdown so i decided i was gonna do one but yeah i hope you enjoy first i start off with the mario Badesco spray to just like freshen up my skin and hydrate it before i put a crap ton of makeup on next thing i will do is i'll use my collection it's it's really old and um, yeah it was the collection like powder eyebrow pomade thingy majiggy and i've used that most of my life it's like my go-to brow I do underneath my eyebrow first and then I just go over the top bit just a bit Boom. push it all up through my eyebrows to kind of fill them in not like I don't like going kind of bold with my eyelashes. I've always liked the kind of feathery effect of them. So that's how I do that one. And now I'm just gonna go and do the other one. So that is now my eyebrows both done. And then I go on to my eyelids now. So I will get my concealer and I'll just put that on my eyelids before I do any eyeshadow at all. The concealer I'm using at the moment is the NARS and that is in the shade Custard is running out quite a lot at the moment, and I just put it on my eye like so, and then I just blend it in with my beauty blender. My beauty blender is seriously old, it used to be like neon orange, and now it's yeah. So when I have put the concealer on my eyes, I then get my EYN Bright palette, which is my favourite palette ever. Um, oh, I can't even. It's just beautiful already. I got this palette from Beauty Bay and I highly recommend getting this because it's got every single colour you could ever want. Great for festival season when we can finally do that again and going out and just everything. So I take the white one and then I just put it all over my eyelids to just kind of um, set it before I put the eyeshadow on I am doing today. Just like this. After I have set my eyelids i then go on to using my contour palette for my eyeshadow because i've now gotten into kind of just using my contour as my like eyeshadow for now because i like having just like kind of neutral eyeshadow it just kind of works and for my contour palette i use is the park princess tart one which i've got in my glossy box like christmas calendar last year which I was obsessed about. This was like, this is, okay, this was basically why I bought it, just for this. So I take the shade Carrot, which is that one. Next, I take the darker colour, which is Crown, the one on the end, to put that into the crease of my eyelids, and then, yeah. And now I have done my eyeshadow, it's time to do my eyeliner. So the eyeliner I use is the Rimmel London Glamise Professional. Okay, so now I have done my right eye. I'm going to go and finish my next one so it will just be easier and I'll be done quicker. 
thing I do once I've done my eyeliner is I apply my mascara and I use the Maybelline Lash Sensational one, which I'm actually obsessed about. It is, is life-changing, amazing, okay? This is so cheap, so affordable, and it's just like so worth it. Once I've done that, I wait for my mascara to dry and then I will apply my fake lashes. And I got the eyelashes called Show Off because I thought they were bold and they looked like sick. They just look so good. I'm using some cheap glue today, which is probably quite old as well. I've had like a bunch of these by now, how long from like little sets I bought and this glue is just not, it's not the best. But my false lashes glue has run out so I'm just going to have to make do with my miniature what i do is i just get the glue onto the little stick and then i put it onto the lash just a bit not really much and then i've just got to let it dry for a bit and then i can pop it on so that is the first one applied and i think it's absolutely gorgeous and now i've just got to put the second one on Okay, so that is both my lashes on now, and now it's time for me to go onto my face makeup. First things first is my primer, and for my primer, I use the Fenty Beauty one. And the Fenty Beauty primer I use is the Soft Silk Pro, Pro Filter Hydrating Primer Base Hydrate. I highly recommend this. When you put this on as your base coat before your foundation, I swear to God, it makes your foundation look so smooth. Next, I go on to my foundation, and for my foundation, I use two, I mix the two different shades, but I mainly use this one when I'm tanned. I just feel like the colours look way better when they're mixed. So I use Santa Fe which is my kind of go-to when I don't have a tan. And then the Vanna 2, which is for when I have a tan. And I've got another one somewhere in my room for a like deep, deep tan. Because you you just need to... And I feel like today I will just be using the Santa Fe one as I have no tan. Now once I have done my foundation, I go in with my contour stick. The contour stick I use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Mink, I'm pretty sure. It just looks like that. It just twists. Once I have finished my contouring, I then go in with my, um, once I've finished with doing my bronzing contouring, I will go in and do my, um, I will go in and do my concealer. I then use this MAC Cream Concealer and it's in the shade W10, whatever that is. I just put this lighter shade over the bits I want to highlight, like brighten up. So I put it there, the chin. Once I have done that, I add my high beam cream highlighter on. So I just put that on the end of my nose and then just 
top of my non-existing cheekbones. Once I have done all of my cream and liquid products, I then go in with my powder to set my face. So for my powders, I normally use the Laura Mercier translucent powder, but I have finished it. So today I'm using the transparent kind of one of my old powders, which I've just been using because my Laura Mercier one's finished. Once I have done that, it is now onto my favourite contour palette. And then I will first start off with using the this one and my to like Once I have done that, I go on to using Halo to highlight under my eyes. Next thing I go on to after I have done all that is my blush and I use the Barry M one and I mainly use just these two colours at the bottom because they're just the perfect shade together one slightly red and one slightly orange tint and it's also got kind of a glittery look to it so absolutely love this one okay. so i take a mix of both of the colors and then i just pop it on like this And a bit on my end of my nose. And then I get my big brush for what I use for my powder and then I just brush it in. And now it is time to go on to my highlighter, the Revolution Safe palette because I just love it because there's so many so many colours to choose from. I mainly use those two and then pink and the purple. I haven't really used those ones at all yet. So today I'm going to use this one and I'm just going to pop it on me. Look at that shine. Like, I'm sorry, but what? How? Damn. That's so, so shiny. Can we please take a moment to just appreciate the shine? Oh my God. It's just so, I can't get over it. Gorgeous. And then when I've done that, I literally just blend that in too. So it is all blended into my face. Next thing I do is I grab my contour palette again and I use the end shade and I just do it under my eye. Now it is time for me to do my lips and for them I will use the lip liner by Barry M which is go to and this lipstick in Honey Beige. I don't know what brand it was. I can't remember, it's really old. And then I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Gloss. So now I have done my makeup look, I'm going to do my hair and sort it out because it's just not really happening right now. I'm going to be using my Lula Bells hair extensions and I'm going to just stick my hair up in a ponytail.
Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, everything. If you would like to see me shut up. I'm so weird. What? <laughs>